Good morning, Stitchers, and welcome to Stitch Mania Day 1. It's May 1st, 2021. This is Christine, and here is where I'm starting with Day 1. Now, last month, I uploaded my video in April, and I think I uploaded it on April 29th, so I still had one more day of stitching. I still had April 30th to stitch, but I was getting my second vaccination that day, and that's why I uploaded my video early. So what I ended up doing is then yesterday, which was April 30th, I ended up stitching a lot yesterday. So I thought I would start off showing where this month's progress is. So last month you had seen I was just kind of starting to get into the birdhouse here, and it hadn't done much. So yesterday I stitched all pretty much all of the sort of greenish color you see here and um, so this is where I'm starting with May 1st and if you remember I was waffling all over the place on what I was going to do with with my stitch mania and I'm still waffling so the only thing I know for certain is that I want to work on this one some more so I'm going to work on this I'm I feel like I could just get a finish on this I don't know I think tentatively a lot of you, by the way, thank you so much for those of you who have chimed in so far. I mean, at this point, my video has only been up for a day or so, so not a ton of people have chimed in, but I've had some suggestions. Um, somebody had suggested doing basically one of each of my ideas, you know, work on a Mar Margolin Baston and then, you know, work on a Mill Hill and a Dimensions and a, you know, all of that, which I think is a great idea, and I have a feeling that's probably what I'm going to do is just sort of a, a mashup, a mania mashup. Um, yeah, and then uh, somebody had suggested, which I had completely forgot about, is um, Stephanie over at Lindy Stitches does Stitch Sania, and I believe what that is is where you work on a work in progress during the week and you start something new on the weekend. I might be wrong about that, but that also I do like that idea. It's a little more sane. You might remember when I mentioned in my video that, oh, I have about 15 or 20 whips, and so if I had done Whip Mania, I would just need to, you know, work on each one for a couple of days well. And then when I was editing, I'm like, you know, how many whips do I have? And I went and counted and realized that I had 32. So I now have more whips than there are days in May. I need to do something about that. So i really kind of tempted to go back and look through some of my works in progresses and find some that are close to getting finished and kind of working on those, you know, I, I don't know if I'll do that in May, but I really want to work this year at getting my whip pile down so that my number of whips are less than the number of days in May. So that's just kind of an, something else to think of. And I did want to thank the person who had suggested about the butterflies here, which was a great idea. I had said I didn't know if I was going to stitch the butterflies. And somebody had said to maybe choose one, one of my favorite butterflies and stitch one of them up here, which I thought was an awesome idea. And I think I may do that because I really like that yellow butterfly. And I think it would look really pretty up here. And, you know, I'm not a designer, but I feel like I would want to put it there. But then you have the bird, the bee, and the butterfly all kind of on this part of the design. And I don't know if that would make it feel off-balanced. But I don't think that the butterfly will fit over there. So I'll have to play around with that. I mean, I, my instinct says to put it there. So, yeah, I just may do that. I really liked that idea. Here, I just wanted to show you where my starting point was for this and show you that star so far for day one, I'm going to continue working on this. and We'll see how far we get. I'm not going to do a daily vlog, I don't think, but I will check in when I have something significant to show uh, in the hopes of keeping this video to a... A good enough length let's just say that all right I'll see you soon guys bye good morning stitchers this is literally the fifth time I have done this take ah oh, sigh as any youtuber floss tuber will know sometimes the video gods are just not with us and something keeps happening so I'm about ready to call this quits if this one doesn't work and as usual, the first clip was very long-winded, and they keep getting shorter and shorter as I go. So this one's going to be straight to the point. It is May 9th, Mother's Day, and we have about just a little over a week of Stitch Mania under our belts now. And I am happy to present my progress. I worked on this one all week long, and I think I'm going to call this one a finish. So I had 
been thinking all week, was I going to stitch the butterflies? Was I going to move one of the butterflies up here? Was I going to do the border? I just couldn't figure out what I was going to do. And then as I was putting in my last few stitches yesterday, so I technically finished this on May 8th, uh, I just saw it laying in the hoop and thought, you know, that looks really cute just like that. And I think that then that answers the question on whether or not I need to stitch the border because if I have it in, if I frame it in this hoop, uh, then it doesn't need to have the border. And I was trying to figure out, hmm, do I want to add a butterfly? Maybe a butterfly here, a butterfly there. But I just decided I'm going to leave it as it is, call it good. So this, uh, yes, this wrinkle that you see will be gone today because I'm going to take this out of the hoop. I literally just finished stitching it and haven't done anything with it yet. Looks like there's a little bit of a wrinkle over there too. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time today giving this a wash and a good pressing and then I'm going to stick it right back in this hoop again. I'm probably going to sand the hoop a little bit. This is just one of those cheap hoops that, you know, kind of has the splinters in it. It's not a really high quality hoop. And um, I do want to decorate it up a little bit, but yeah, I think it just has a nice little vintage charm to finish it in the hoop like that. Okay, I want to get a little bit of close up here and talk about the bird's eyes. Let me make sure he's in frame. It called for a couple of French knots on the bird's eyes right there. So the back stitching and then some French knots. But I tried a couple of times to put French knots in there and he just cross-eyed and just kind of had a funny look to him. I'm still not 100% in love with his eyes, but I think that I'm going to call it good. It is what it is. And that it's like I said, with the exception of the French knots, that's how the eyes were charted to be. And I think it's cute. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to say about this one. Yep. I think it's uh, just was really enjoyable. Loved the colors. Just, just really, really enjoyed working on this one. Um, since I finished that one, I decided to treat myself to a new start. It was going to be a new Mother's Day start, but since I finished this the day before Mother's Day, then it was a day before Mother's Day start, and this is the one that I went with to be my next new start. Another Margelin Baston. So this is still turning out to be Margelin Mania. Since I was originally planning on spending today out in the garden, planting, replant, transplanting my seedlings and just overall kind of getting my garden beds ready. Mother Nature had different plans and today she brought lots of rain and clouds and it's chilly and it's going to be that way for probably the next three days. The sun is momentarily out right now but I can tell by the sky that that's not going to last long. It'll probably disappear before this video is done. So I figured since I can't be out in the garden, I may as well be inside stitching some flowers. So I started this last night and got a little bit of progress. I got some of the yellow done last night and then this morning I did a little bit of stitching already. Got some more yellow done, started in with the butterflies. And I think my plan for today is to do a lot of stitching for Mother's Day. While everybody caters to me like a princess. Uh, yeah, right, that probably isn't going to happen, but it's a nice thought. So anyway, that's how that looks. And I'm probably going to check in in one week and let you know what I end up doing. Do I finish this one? Do I work on it a couple of days and then start something new? I mean, that's, I'm not going to start something new. I'm not going to start something new until I finish this one. But do I want to work on one of my works in progresses? I don't know. But momentarily in the next clip it will be just like that another week and you will know where I ended up. All right I'm going to get to stitching and drinking my coffee before it cools down too much. As a matter of fact it's probably already too cold. I'm gonna go heat that one up or make a fresh cup and get to stitching. All right I think this was a successful take. Let's hope. Hey guys, it's Friday afternoon and Friday the 14th, May 14th, and I'm in the middle of doing some yard work, but I sat down to get a drink of uh, something cold and refreshing, and I thought I would do a quick update really quick to show you that I finished this one this week. So really quick and easy stitch, and 
I'm thinking that it looks really nice in this hoop too, just like the other one. Only problem is, is that I was a little off on my centering and I am barely have enough, uh, I mean, you can tell it's not quite centered. It needs to scooch that way a little bit. So I'm hoping that I could do that and still manage to get the piece of fabric stuck in the hoop. But if not, there's always glue, right? There's always ways to make it happen. So I'm thinking that I might finally frame this one in this cute little hoop too, since I have so many of these little hoops. I hope the sun isn't blowing this out too much. It was overcast and then the sun just came out. Um, don't think there's anything more to say about it. It was just quick and since I finished it, I was thinking of going ahead and starting a new Marjolaine Baston, but I really want to work, get a little bit done on the pumpkins. Uh, so I'm probably going to work on that whip. But then I had somebody contact me on Instagram, uh, Kim. I can't remember what her handle is. I'll put it down below here. But she had, um, she knows how much I love Mill Hill, and she asked me if I had seen this one Mill Hill kit, buttons and beads kit, that she said reminded her a lot of Marjolaine Baston. And when she pointed it out to me, I was like, you know, I have that one in my stash. And it was, did I mention this earlier? Maybe I mentioned this already in this clip. I don't know. But anyway, I did go digging around and found it, and this is what it looks like. It's called Water Pump. This has got to be started before May is over. I'm not going to start it yet, though, because I think it might be... I have a feeling if I did, I would just work on it and nothing else. So I'm definitely going to start it, though. Maybe that's that will be my treat if I get some progress done on the Marjolaine Baston Pumpkins kit because there's a big blue pumpkin and maybe I'll if I get that big sorry I didn't bring it out but if I get the big blue pumpkin done then maybe I'll treat myself to this new start but then there's also the birdhouse Marjolaine Baston birdhouse one that I want to start too so we'll see um, I was going to upload this at the end of May but I've decided that I might do a middle of May update and get this one uploaded that's why I wanted to go ahead and record this clip to let you see what I've all been up to plus I wanted to post a couple pictures on Instagram and I wanted to do that after my video gets released so I'm gonna get this uploaded and then I will see you at the end of May and let you know what I did for the second half. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching, and happy mania. Bye. I was just noticing something after I recorded that. I was um, noticing that, you notice how there's a break in the stems down here? I don't have the pattern in front of me, but I feel, I, I know there was a border, a square border around this, and I feel like the border maybe somehow went across these stems here. But since I'm not doing the border, I really need to go in and fill those stems out because it looks kind of odd. They look like they all just kind of got chopped off there. So I have to go look at that and um, just go ahead and just add the stitches to fill them in since I'm not doing the border. The things you see when you record your projects. Okay, now I'm truly done. I gotta get back to work. Show you guys, I got a new addition to my bird feeders. This here, I bought this little Oreo feeder. And here, it's kind of high up. Let me try and get it. I didn't, uh, yeah, there's actually grape jelly in that little bowl. I don't know if you can see, but I have never had an Oreo in my yard, but they say that they're near, that you could get them sometimes during the migration. Let me get a better angle at it here. Uh, that you could get them during the migration time if you have something orange because well, we don't get the Baltimore Orioles, but we get the Bullocks Orioles here. And I thought maybe if they, they are in our area, but they don't usually visit feeders. So apparently they like oranges and grape jelly. And I did see a hummingbird the other day, but I didn't have my feeder out. So now I do and I haven't seen them yet, but... All right, I'll let you know if I get any Orioles, any takers.